is some really cool coffee. This is uh, called Blackbeard's Delight, and it is by Black Rifle Coffee Company, which I've been following them on Instagram for a, a very long time, and so I'm very excited to try some of them. As you can see, I already opened, and I had one cup already. But I'm excited to have a second. <laughs> Went everywhere. So I don't actually usually drink black coffee, but that is really good. So I'm not sure what happened, but somehow the video that I posted this morning, somehow the audio got all messed up and I don't know. So I gotta try to re-upload it. So I'm sorry if you just watched the yesterday's vlog and the audio seems weird. I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna fix it. Okay, let's go do that. Okay, I finally, I finally kind of came up with a thumbnail that I like. Yes! Oh, feels so good. I just, uh, I just uploaded my, I guess yesterday's vlog. Oh yeah. Justin, tell them all to go see the last vlog. Just go tell them. Hey, hurry up, get on the computer, and watch the last vlog. <laughs> what he said. <laughs> Also, these shoes, super old. I don't know why I like them, I just love them. Reebok. Oh, good boy. So this is my lunch break. I finished a bunch of meetings and a bunch of plans. I still have a crap ton of work to do. Nash, come here, come here. But, um, I'm done for an hour, and so me and Nash are gonna go for a walk. Nash, come here, hop in. This is his, one of his favorite duckies. You're not right, Ash. You know, for someone who has a very creative mind and Someone who's, who can't just seem to just sit still. We're going to go to New York and Chicago sometime this fall. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go into the world. Like we're going to Ireland and to Cape Town and to Africa and, and like all these places. Um, but we just can't yet. And it's a really, it's an odd feeling because I, I, all I want to do is I just want to start doing things. But it, that's not that's not where we are in the world yet. So, the urgency of what we have to do right now, and I feel like like there are a few things that you actually that you that you actually have to get done. You know what I mean? You have to be successful at your job. You need to take care of your family. You need to stay in communication with your friends and make sure that they're cared for. Like there are some things that are more important you know, that you actually, that are urgent, that you need to stay on top of. But there are also a lot of other things that we feel are urgent, but they're not really. And, and I think they can, although important, they can sometimes start to rule our lives. They, they can be tyrannical and start taking over our ideas, our ambitions our whole thought processes to where we can't think creatively or we can't think in the future 
because we're so caught in the present. We're so caught in, man, what do I have to do now? I have this at 9.30, this at 8.30, this at 7.30, and all of these things. And sometimes it's just better just to sit. It's just, to, just to take a break and stop planning every minute of our life because after a little while, your life becomes a planner. It doesn't become a life. We have planners, we have schedules so that we can enjoy our life. We don't want them to rule our life. That's, that's, a, that's, that's not what we want. That's not what I want, at least. So. so, so what is my point here? That's the real question. What are you going on about, Seth? Now, okay, I'm not gonna do this. This is very uncomfortable. My point, I guess my challenge to whoever's watching this is that it doesn't have to be very long, but I challenge you to take a day, maybe not even a day, pay, take a couple hours, go somewhere and try to put away all of the urgencies in your life and do something that you actually want to do. But I would really encourage you to do something creative, do, do something with your mind. Try to make something that wasn't there before. That's just, it can be so, so wonderful to the soul. And if you hear the heavy breathing, that's Nash. Nash. Spend an hour or two hours doing that. And it's, it doesn't have to be for anybody else. It doesn't have to be for your job, for your family. Even if nobody sees it, just do it for you. And you will be so surprised at how much of a blessing that can be to your life your mental health, your energy, you'll come out of it and you'll be like ready to take on those inner, those urgencies, those urgent tasks because they won't be tyrannical. They don't own you. You own them. You are the one who's, who, who decided to put them in your life. You know, like we all have the freedom to be able to choose what we do and what we don't do. So anyway, food for thought, food for thought. <laughs> All right, that's it for this day's vlog. Um, I have actually a lot of work to do. <laughs> I don't know if that is it for this day's vlog, actually, because tonight I have to film uh, a little part of a medical documentary that we're doing. Um, tonight's a shoot day, shoot night. Tonight's a shoot night, so I'm gonna whip out the the cinema rig. We're gonna try it for the first time tonight, which I'm very excited about. But anyway, so actually, that's the last part of this video. So never mind. I take back what I said earlier. <laughs>